Hi everybody, my name's Miss Sarah, and today in my house, it's an awesome day for two reasons. Number one, today is my very first day to teach Children's Church for Psy Creek Kids. I'm so excited, I could barely even sleep last night. Number two is that today in my house, it's a movie marathon day. Oh yeah, so I got everything I needed. I have my giant bowl of popcorn. I brought my favorite candy, of course. I even got my favorite cozy blanket so we can curl up on the couch and just watch movies all day long. And I think that the best movies are the ones with surprises, like maybe um, Toy Story. Toy Story has some good surprises or um, let's see, oh, Frozen 2. That's a good one. It's got some big surprises. It also makes me think about our Bible story for today. See, we're learning about a woman named Tabitha who had some humongous surprises happen in her life too. Come on, let's go read. Peter and Tabitha, Acts chapter 9, 36 through 43. Peter was staying in Lydda near Joppa. He healed people and shared the good news of Jesus. Two men from Joppa ran up to Peter. Please come with us, they cried. Our friend Tabitha has died. Peter felt sad. Tabitha was a follower of Jesus. Her heart was big. She gave her time to sew tunics for people who needed clothes. Everyone who knew Tabitha loved her. She was kind and helpful. Peter looked at the two men. Their eyes were filled with hope. Take me to her house, he said. Tabitha's home was filled with people. They cried out in sadness. God, why did you take Tabitha? We miss her. Who will make clothes for people in need? Peter stood beside Tabitha's body. A group of widows gathered around him. They cried and showed him the beautiful tunics Tabitha had sewn. Peter asked them to leave so he could be alone. He knelt and prayed to God. Then he stood up and whispered in Tabitha's ear, Tabitha, get up. Tabitha's eyes popped open. She saw Peter and smiled. Peter held out his hand and helped her up. When the widow saw Tabitha, they exclaimed, Tabitha is alive. It's a miracle. God is so good. Tabitha's story was told all over Joppa. More and more people believed in the Lord. I mean, whoa, talk about a big surprise. See, Tabitha was a woman who loved God so much and she showed it by taking care of and serving other people. She made them tunics, she took care of them when they were sick, and she really cared about them. That's why when she got sick and she died, they were so, so sad. They were so sad that they called Peter and said, Peter, can you come help us raise Tabitha from the dead? And he did. I mean, talk about a big surprise. The thing about Tabitha is she's not the only one who can show their love for God by loving and serving others. You can do that too, and so can I. And you might be saying to yourself, Miss Sarah, how am I supposed to show my love for God by serving others if all I'm doing is staying at home? Well, I'm glad you asked. We made a list of things that you can do in your very own house that can show your love fight for God by serving others. Stick around at the end of this video for a list of things that you can do to be just like Tabitha. Okay, I'm off to watch my movies. What I've been practicing is my popcorn tossing skills. I'm gonna give it a shot here real quick. Okay, that didn't work, but I'm gonna keep trying. See you later, guys.